Ten on the shot clock. Jefferson penetration to the rim. That's a tough matchup for Whaley I and mean, for Booknight because they want him and need him back. Jefferson off the fake will drive inside again. The scoop of the foul sends him to the line. Can't force it. You can't start to steer it and overthink it. Yeah, that trend has continued today. They're three for three from two. Oh for five for three as Mahoney rejected by Tyler Pollock. Mahoney, the three. That's good. Is that Zhuzh? Because it came off of the right-handed pass from a left-handed player. Here's RJ Cole. Good look inside. Carlton a little better finish this time. The spacing was much better. But Nine to shoot for Cole. Turning the corner. In the corner. Adams for three. And it's a one-point ball game in Omaha. Said to them, we're going to be shooting 26% in this building <laughs> with a minute 20 to play. They'd be like, okay, it's, we're, we're getting killed. Next thing you know, here we are, they're down one. Holly with five to shoot. Now they got to figure out what they're going to do. Cole on the attack. Cole's the spin, and Cole's jumper falls. That shot was not even close to going in the first 10 minutes of this game. Brayton down one. Jefferson to the rim. Bucket and a foul. But you have to know the personnel. And I think he thought maybe Whaley, eh, he's not going to pop out the shoot because no one's really been that aggressive. And that's, they made him pay. And there's your guy. Mahoney, good find. Bishop for traffic to clear. This crowd trying to make an impact here in Omaha. Sonogo, Bishop on top of him, count the bucket. He'll go to the line for one more. To never, ever have your back to the basketball. And, he, and the Huskers, 50 miles down the road in Lincoln, but UConn made a late push, and they were able to secure him, and boy, they're delighted to have him in their post. Because that one will fall, and one more at the line. Inbound, tough one to catch for R.J. Cole. In the corner, finds an open Isaiah Whaley for three. He's got that range. Here's Martin attacking. Oh! Down the left side of the lane, goes to the right side and finishes. Very nice work by Tyrese Martin. I think the Jays have done consistently is limit those second chance opportunities off those offensive rebounds. Gaffney, oh, what a feed! Absolutely nifty, Sonogo with the flush. Inside, Kulkbrenner, bucket and a foul. Whaley with the contact. Kulkbrenner to the line for one more. Shot clock at 13, nothing going so far for UConn offensively. Whaley, and he turns it over, Mahoney to the other end. Mahoney with the lay-in. Mahoney starting to... Hunt for a shot a little bit, and Zagorowski with 15 on the shot clock will launch the three. Yeah, what a shot for Zagorowski, his first three. And again, five to shoot, nothing going offensively. Cole gonna have to launch one, gets rid of it instead to Whaley, whose three falls. Died on the back iron. Five to shoot, Jefferson gonna have to make a move against Whaley, he will, and Whaley wow. with the rejection, Jefferson the one. Two blocks by Whaley, and a shot clock violation of result. How hard he works, and that is just tremendous defense, and then to stay with it, most guys would stop, think the job is done, and without him, it's, it's night and day. Cole turns the corner. Martin open from three, and that falls. UConn with a glimmer of hope with 1.45 to play. Cole against Kalkbrenner. Spins past the big man. Go, and the follow by Whaley brings UConn two points closer.